The chaotic scenes that ushered in the night on Saturday following a ghastly attack on Westgate Shopping Mall, one of the biggest shopping centers in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. Early on Saturday morning, hooded gunmen stormed the popular shopping mall wielding assault rifles and shot indiscriminately at scores of people in the shopping center. The despicable perpetrators of this cowardly act hoped to intimidate, divide, and cause despondency amongst Kenyans. They would like us to retreat into a closed, fearful, and fractured society where trust, unity, and enterprise are difficult to muster. Kenya's President Uhuru Kenyatta was among Kenyans grieving the loss of their loved ones. I ask God to give you comfort as you confront this strategy, this tragedy. And I know what you feel having also personally lost very close family members in this attack. The Somali militant group Al-Shabaab later claimed responsibility for that gruesome attack, claiming it was in retaliation to Kenya's aggression against it in its homeland Somalia. But even in the face of tragedy, the Kenyan leadership remains defiant and will not be cowed by terrorism. We have overcome terrorist attacks before. In fact, we have fought courageously and defeated them within and outside our borders. We will defeat them again. Terrorism, in and of itself, is the philosophy of cowards. But let me make it clear that we shall hunt down the perpetrators wherever they run to. We shall get them, and we shall punish them for this heinous crime. The Westgate Mall attack was the single biggest since Al-Qaeda's East Africa cell bombed the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi in 1998, killing more than 200 people. In 2002, the same militant cell attacked an Israeli-owned hotel and tried to shoot down an Israeli jet in a coordinated attack. Al-Shabaab, which is battling Kenyan and other African peacekeepers in Somalia, had repeatedly threatened attacks on Kenyan soil if Nairobi does not pull its troops out of the Horn of Africa country. One of the Al-Shabaab tweets read, For long we have waged war against the Kenyans in our land. Now it's time to shift the battleground and take the war to their land. The account has since been shut down. Al-Shabaab, which Kenya blames for shootings, bombings and grenade attacks against churches and the security forces, had threatened before to strike Westgate, a mall popular with the city's expatriates, as well as other soft targets such as nightclubs and hotels known to be popular with Westerners. Penina Karibe, CCTV.